Hello everyone! Welcome to the very first video of this channel that doesn't exist yet but will exist pretty soon as soon as we have this small chat. Okay, so you probably saw that I posted a video earlier this week in Portuguese and a lot of my non-Portuguese speakers friends were very curious. I first thought about putting subtitles, but then I thought mm, maybe it's going to be faster to just record another one. So here I am. I'm going to try to do it a little bit faster because I had the impression that I spoke too much on the other one. I'm actually pretty, pretty much shy, but I'm recording this video because I'm about to have one of my super big dreams coming true. I'm going on a round the world tour, yay! I'm very, very happy. I've been dreaming with this since I was 13 years old. I never thought I could really make it because I thought I couldn't afford and also that I wouldn't have the courage. And as the years passed by, I traveled already a lot and the courage was coming up, coming up, coming up. The money, not quite yet. I'm not sure if I have enough, but I'm going open-minded. If I need to work to make some extra money to continue the trip, then I will do so. Maybe be a waitress for a few days or, I don't know, babysit, walk dogs, a lot of couch surfing to keep the cost uh, low, maybe exchange uh, stay for work in hostels. So there is just one small little issue is that I don't have a lot of time to plan. I'm leaving early September, which means I just have two months and a half. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here, because I want to already share with you from planning time and then you can help me get all the pieces and bits together, right? So the first help I need from you is to figure out a nice title for the social media where I intend to post all the stuff about the trip. But it's not supposed to be only about this trip, but many other trips for the future, trips from the past that I never posted about. And in fact, it's supposed to talk about my overall passion for life and for meeting new people, meeting new places, meeting new people that I already know. But just to go around the world and get out of my comfort zone and have new adventures and experiences and so on. So as a requirement for that, uh, it needs to be creative, catchy, easy to remember. Of course, it cannot exist already. I would like to have the title in English. Would like to avoid certain terms that are already too much used in travel vlogs, like uh, nomad, passport, backpacking, around the world, things like this. So I have some ideas, but I don't think it's quite yet the idea. So I count on you to give me some inspiration and we'll find a title to I have already had a lot of nice suggestions but I'm expecting more. So to close this video, I will just tell you a little bit about how the trip is supposed to be. So I'm going to be mainly traveling alone for around 10 months to one year, but in fact, I'm going to be meeting a lot of people on the way, like my family, my friends, friends of friends, maybe you, because you're super welcome to come join me for part of the trip. You're also super welcome to introduce me to people you know around the world so I can make some nice contacts and hang out with the uh, people that are local or maybe that are living there for a long time and can help me have a more close to local experience. That's it. So uh, what I know about the trip so far is we are not traveling in Europe because I have been already here for four years and traveling quite a lot and Europe is expensive and we don't have money. So we are going to start by Asia because that's the most affordable part of the world, I think. For those who don't know, I live in Brussels right now. So we are going to fly directly from Brussels to China. And then from China, we are going to go down this part uh, of Asia for around four months and then spend one month in Australia, one month in New Zealand, and then go around like this, and then go to north of South America, Central America, and then finish in Africa. One issue I have with this plan, that would be a plan that makes sense, is that some of the places that I really super want most visit, they are seasonal. And I have to be there at certain specific times to see the thing happening. So one of the places is the Red Beach. I'm always afraid to say beach because I never know if it goes right, but I hope I'm saying beach. In Portuguese, we don't have this problem. So Praia Vermelha. 
So we started by the Red Beach in China and there I need to be between mid-September and mid-October. The other place that I super really want to visit is in Colombia. It's called Cano Cristales and that's from June to November. So what happens if I do my round the world like this? It's going to be September to December, January, February and then it would be around March here and then by June I would be already in Africa and then I wouldn't see this amazing nature attraction. If I really want to see this, I need either more time or doing a little bit crazy itinerary that would mean coming from New Zealand back to Africa and then traveling Africa and then going to the Americas. Uh, the bad side about doing that is then I wouldn't be able to buy a round the world ticket which is supposed to be a better deal than buying separate tickets because the round the world tickets normally you have to go in only one direction on the globe. So I'm busy now looking for the tickets and the options and trying to make these decisions. All the tips and tricks are welcome. And of course, I'm also waiting for your suggestion for a title and hopefully all the next videos will be already in the appropriate channel. So that's it for today. I hope I can come share more next week. Thank you. I hope I was faster than the other one. Big, big kiss. See you soon. Oh